Hello world! What do you get when you send a couple of computer geek makeup nerds to Las Vegas, Nevada? Well, a trip to the forum shops at Caesars Palace, of course. The makeup mecca of Las Vegas. <laughs> Everybody. So here I've got for you today a haul from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I went there this past week for uh, a conference for work and of course there's always a little bit of fun that goes along with being in Las Vegas. Um, I happened to win a little bit of money playing the video poker machines and as a result we decided to take a little trip to the forum shops in Caesars Palace because in the forum shops all within a few steps of each other. You can hit up a NARS beauty store, a MAC store, and a Sephora store. There's also a Dior store. We didn't even get through all of the beauty options that were there because um, I didn't win that much money. Um, but we did take our time and went to a few different shops. So first up, we stopped at the NARS shop, and I've never even seen a NARS boutique bar, NARS beauty shop. Um, it was pretty small, but um, had a lot of their products available for swatching. Um, I kind of wish we'd been left alone a little bit more because the salesperson at the NARS shop was, you know, a, a consummate salesperson. She was all up in our business trying to tell us what would look best on us, what colors she thought we would like, um, all that stuff. And, and I appreciate that. I totally do. Um, but I think from our appearances, you could have probably guessed that, that we knew a little bit about things so I would I would have rathered the approach of here here's what's new here's what you might not have seen since you've clearly seen a lot of this stuff before um, let me know if you have any questions but it wasn't really like that so um, I didn't do as much shopping there as I had expected to um, because I just felt like someone was breathing down my neck the whole time um, but I did pick up a couple of their new um, lipsticks the one I'm wearing right now is called members only it's a darker red. They had four new shades, um, a lighter red, this darker red. Um, the lighter red was a, a more of an orangey sort of red. Um, this darker one is more of a rust red. And then the other shade I picked up is called Get Dirty. Um, it's, a, it's a neutral. Um, they had two sort of nude neutrals. Um, this is the lighter of the two, if I can get it to focus in there. Um, they go on really opaque. Um, they feel nice. They wear off a little more easily than something like the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Um, but they feel really nice, and I haven't had any trouble with them um, drying out my lips. But like I said, I didn't really get to shop as much uh, at the NARS shop as I would have wanted to. Um, but right down the way, a couple steps away, was the MAC store. And I've never been in a Mac store because there aren't any Mac stores near me. Um, so I had a couple things I definitely knew I wanted to get. Uh, one of which was the paint pot, um, the Pro Longwear paint pot. I got mine in Painterly, um, which I've seen a ton of people use either as an eye primer or as a sort of a shadow base. Um, so I picked up one of those. And while I was swatching things, um, I also picked up their Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner. Um, when I swatched this in the store, it just went on so smooth and so opaque. Um, it's sort of a brush tip, and oh, I can just, I can just feel how awesome it's going to be. Um, I really found that you could get a uh, really thin line, really thick line, the way you just manipulate how you're using pressure on your eye. Um, and I love how it's totally opaque. Um, it's a little, I, I wouldn't call it shiny. It dries down pretty matte looking but with a a little bit of shine to it but it's not that glossy black um, and when I tried to remove it with a makeup remover it actually was difficult to get off which I love so um, I think it's gonna be one of my favorites um, I didn't want to pick up too many things at the Mac store because I knew we were also headed to Sephora and I had a list of things that I wanted from Sephora um, so the we got to Sephora and it's kind of like the Mecca. And we walk in and the very first thing I saw was something I had seen online that I knew I wanted to get. Um, 
even though I'm not a super huge like Disney cartoon fan, but oh, how cute is this thing? So this is the Minnie Mouse um, colors. Let me get the exact title. It comes in a really nice sturdy box here. Um, Disney Mini, Minnie's World in Color eyeshadow palette. Um, so it comes in a really nice sturdy display box and I just love it. It looks like a little old fashioned handbag with the, the little knob clasps at the top and it's magnetized. Um, so it stays shut. You don't have to rely on those clips holding it shut. Um, and the colors are so pretty. Oh God, I'm a palette junkie. Um, so the first thing I did, of course, is I ran right up to this and, uh, swatched a few of the colors that I thought were going to be my favorites. Um, so let me just show you a couple. Um, they've got a, a, a highlight white Mickey squeeze, which is like a glittery light purple. Um, the one I was really curious about, this girlish appeal, this dark sort of plum, um, some like it dot is a is a gold shimmer. Let me just get what should I get for my fifth one? I do have five fingers. I'm gonna do this big shoes to fill. Um, this gold. But look how nice. They really they're pigmented, they're just really, really, really smooth, and I have not put them on my eyes yet, but I'm super impressed with the the payoff when I swatched them on my hands. Um, oh, do I have any space here? All right, let's see. One, two, three, four. Well, that's going to be really hard to see because my hand is a disastrous mess right now. Um, but I was really, really stoked at how, how nice they swatched. Because um, some of the... There's the, there's the gold. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. Um, I have another, a smaller palette of Sephora eyeshadows, and I really wasn't very impressed with it. It's, it's a little powdery. It's not very pigmented. But these, I think, just from swatching them, I think I'm going to be really happy with this palette, and I think I'm going to be able to do a lot of fun things with it. Um, so that was on my list, and I was so excited. I didn't think it had been released yet, but I was really happy about that one. Um, another thing I had on my list... Um, I didn't have a sample of this or anything, and I'm not even sure where I remember seeing it, but um, Josie Moran Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation Fluid. Um, I am always on the hunt for something I can wear with my super dry skin, and this seemed a little bit like a treatment foundation. Um, in clinical studies, after four weeks, 100% of subjects experienced a significant increase in skin moisture by 106%. 98% experienced a significant increase in skin smoothness and softness by 111%. 93% agreed that vibrancy helped visibly calm their skin condition, specifically scarring, inflammation, and rosacea. I don't really have any of those issues going on, but I do have incredibly dry skin. Um, it's fragrance-free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, and allergy tested. Um, argan oil is clinically proven to significantly improve skin hydration and smoothness and to visibly reduce coarse lines and wrinkles in just four weeks. 83% of people said their skin felt and looked more supple, radiant, and smooth. And supple, radiant, and smooth, that's my jam. So um, I'm gonna try this out. The bottle is gorgeous if you like colors. Holy cow. It's a swirly little, little, oh, it's just beautiful. Um, it's, woo, I'm gonna spill it already. Um, coming straight off the airplane. Um, it's got a really strange sort of, mm, I don't even know what to call the applicator, but, um, let me give you a little swatch here of what I'm about to spill. Um, is there any room left? Let's use the other hand. Um, I got it in the lightest shade, which is super natural. <laughs> what are they trying to tell me? That I'm like Casper the Friendly Ghost, maybe? Um, but it's it's super... Oh, it's just soft, and I kind of <laughs> want to put it all over my body. <laughs> um, but it even makes my hand look nice, you know? Um... So I'm really excited to try this out. Um, if anything, the bottle's going to look gorgeous sitting on my vanity. But um, I have really high hopes for this because it just it's a, it just feels super smooth. It, it blurs the lines on my hands, which my hands are starting to show signs of aging. So I'm, I'm doing all my facial skin care on my hands too. Um, really nice. I really like how it feels. Um, haven't tried it yet on my face, but that's coming soon. Um, so that is the... Vibrancy by Josie Moran, uh, Argan Oil Fluid Foundation. 
Then I got some baby beauty blenders because, you know, the big ones are just hard to get around the eyes. And I have dark circles that go all the way up to my freaking eyebrows. So I have to, like, get into my eye sockets. And so got me some of those. Um, I had tried a sample of this stuff, uh, the Benefit Pore Professional Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. And holy cow, people, um, it's like Photoshop for your face except in makeup. Like... If you take a little bit of this balm and don't rub it in, but like tap, 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 tap it into the spots where you have larger pores, which for me is like this spot right, you know, on my cheeks, right next to my nose, sort of the apples of my cheeks, a little bit in my top of my T-zone and my chin, um, they they disappear before your very eyes. I, I The sample I got of this, I, I almost fell out of my chair and I was like, I need to get this immediately. So um, love, 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 love. Can't wait to use it in its full size. I picked up Smashbox O Plump um, Intuitive Lip Plumper. So this is a lip plumping lip gloss that's supposed to like adjust the shade of pink based on um, what it determines your, your lip shade already is. Um, infused with Goji Berry C Complex. A um, friend of mine highly recommended it, and I'm always in the market for lip plumpers because, you know, the whole thin lip complex I've got from high school. Um, so I picked up that. And I've also been trying to find something that I could use for self-tanning to just give myself a tiny bit of color without going in the sun. Um, but all the self-tanners you find are like medium tan. Look at this. This is not medium anything. I'm Casper the Friendly Ghost. You know, Josie Moran got it right. You know, supernatural level color here. Um, so they recommended uh, at Sephora um, this St. Tropez. Tropez? Tropez? Ah! Pronunciations are terrible. You know, I'm, I don't know this stuff. This I'm a geek out of water. This is not my, my field of expertise. Um, but this is the Everyday Body Lotion in Light Medium. And it claims to offer 48-hour hydration and also uh, a gradual tan in classic. And it's a giant, like you can you can put this everywhere. This is gonna be this is gonna last me a while. Um, so I'm gonna try this out. I'm looking forward to having a little bit of color and and not looking quite so much like Casper the Friendly Ghost as we get into our summertime. Um, but that is the conclusion of my. Forum Shops Las Vegas Beauty Hall, hitting up the NAR Shop, the MAC Cosmetics Store, and Sephora. Um, we didn't make it to any of the other shops. We were we were shopped out at that point. Stopped at uh, uh, Trevi to have some Italian, hit their happy hour, had some great cocktails. Um, I, I enjoy Caesar's Palace. I like their poker room. I like their shopping. I like their restaurants. Good place to go. I love Las Vegas. I'm a big fan of Las Vegas, so... Um, we had a really good time. So have you been to Las Vegas recently? Did you stop at any of the fashion and beauty uh, shops? Let me know down in the comments. Tell me your favorite products that you've picked up recently uh, or your favorite uh, splurges that you've picked up on on a trip on the road. Uh, thanks to everybody for watching. If you like these sort of shopping hauls, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again. Take care of each other. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.